Hey makers, this is Yana with Monkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to add glyphs, also known as swatches. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to show you a program that you use on a Mac because this is what I use and how easy it is to apply on any program once you already copied what you need. Let me show you what I mean. So first what you do is you go to your menu where you see all your programs. So this is the menu that I have um, for me. All you do is you type in search and type in for font book. Click on it and it will load the program. Font book already comes with um, Apple computer so it's easy for you to find all your fonts that are already on your computer. There are many fonts that I currently have because I download a lot of the fonts but what I'm going to show you the font is called Rachella Script. It is a free font found on thefont.com. I will post the link in the comments below so you can grab it also. It is a is free to use for commercial or personal use. So this is really great font. So just to see right here on the on the right you can see the, the text. If you don't see all the letters like this, make sure on the upper left hand corner that you change from this where it shows the alphabet to the second window showing. It will show the individual letters and as you scroll down you see all different type of text that it comes with. And here is an example of the glyphs that I mentioned that we will be using for our text. So here's for the first or the beginning of the text and this font comes with the ending letters that come with the swoosh at the end of the text. And there are many variations. There's also the ones that go up and also that go down. So depending on the font that you choose, you will see different options. But not all the fonts have these options. So now let's go ahead and go to Cricut Design Space to get started. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're going to take the text tool. And I'm going to type a word. Let's type in thankful because I'm thankful for my family, for my health, for you guys to be watching my videos. So let's go with thankful. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger so you can see what I'm working with. So the very first thing we're going to do is you're going to change this font to the font that we want to use with the swatches. So double click, select your or highlight your text, change the font. So we're going to look for Rachella or whatever font that you decided to download and use but I'm using Rachella script. So I'm going to click on it and now you see when we're in Cricut Design Space all the letters come separated out. So for this to work for example for cake toppers or what I'm going to do with this text for Thanksgiving this is what's going to go on top of a plate to say I'm thankful for the person that came and enjoy the dinner with us. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that you have your text selected and I'm gonna reduce the letter spacing. This is the space between the letters. We want to make sure that they overlap. As you can see, most of them are touching each other. Some of it has gone past the point of the other letter. The T is still not touching. So what we're going to do is, at this point, we're going to leave it like this for now. And we're going to go ahead and change to make sure we include the swashes or the glyphs. So I'm going to switch back. So I'm going to do Command Tab to find my program. I'm going to go to Font Book. And I'm going to look for the letter T in the beginning because that's what I want to do for my text. 
and we find letter T and all you do is you copy so command C it copies it now we switch back again with command tab to our uh, Cricut and now you select and highlight only text or only the letter that you want change and you paste the command V as you can see it down here it's showing like a square don't worry about that that's just the way the Cricut is not recognizing it but what it did on the top is updated the T to include this beautiful swash at the top and let's go ahead and do the same thing to the end let's find something for letter L Here's letter L, again select it, copy it, go back, select letter L right here, and paste it. Now we have thankful, but we want to still make sure that all of these letters are touching. You're going to go to your uh, layer panel and you're going to click ungroup. What it does is ungroup. Each, each letter now is its individual letter. So we're going to move it a little bit. And we're going to move the T a little bit so it's touching the H. Now at this point you're pretty much done. You're going to select everything. So select all. And make sure you hit weld. Now you're ready to cut. The only thing is for our purpose that we're doing a cake topper or we're doing the design for the plate, the text is very thin and it's going to be fragile, fragile when it cuts. Unfortunately, in Cricut Design Space, there's currently no way of thickening this font, so we have to do this in another program. Or if you can do, you can do copy, uh, select your text, duplicate it. And you can basically layer it on top and we have it a little bit thicker we can zoom in to see what it looks like it's not the cleanest approach but it works So for here again, select all and you can weld it. Now we have our text a little bit thicker and we can keep doing that until we want to make it even more thicker. Or instead of starting in Cricut Design Space, you can do this in another program, for example, Inkscape. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the same exact technique, but in Inkscape to show you that it's easier to do the offset or thickening the font in Inkscape versus doing this in Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and go to Inkscape. So here we are in Inkscape. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start with typing it first. So after I selected my type tool, which is the A, I'm going to type in thankful. I'm going to choose the first arrow, the, the select arrow. Make sure your lock is closed to make the text bigger. And again, I'm going to double click. I'm going to highlight it all. And right here on the top, I'm going to find the font that I need. So I'm going to type in Rachella because I know that's the font I'm using. Here we are in Inkscape. It instantly changed the font and all the letters are exactly connecting as they're supposed to versus the way we saw it in Cricut Design Space that we had to adjust and move things around make, making sure that they are all connected. At, at this point the process for changing to adding the glyphs is exactly the same so we're gonna go ahead and find them. Font book. Since I have the L highlight I'm gonna start with the L so copy and double click and we're going to highlight the L and we're going to paste 
We're going to go back to font book. I'm going to find our T. Copy. Highlight the T. Paste. So here we are. So it's the same way we have our T and the L connected and it looks now, now pretty beautiful but we have to make it thicker for our purposes. So let's go ahead and do that first. Since this text is still editable, we have to make sure and make it an object. So we're going to go click on it, we're going to click on path and do object to path which you cannot see what I've done but it has broken up all the letters. You choose this tool, you can click on it and you can see that all the letters are now individual. So again we're going to choose the main select tool and we're going to select all the text, all the letters. Sometimes it doesn't work in Inkscape to select all of them right away. Come on. There you go. Make sure all of them are selected. There we go. As you can see, they're individual letters now. Now we need to make them as one in order to be able to do the offset. So go to path. I'm going to create union. Union blends all the letters together like we did in Cricut Design Space when we hit weld. Union in Inkscape is the same as weld in Cricut Design Space. So now all we have to do is go back again to path and we do a linked offset. When you do linked offset you see this little diamond up here. That means you can start to create your offset. I like to hold down shift to make sure it does it slowly. So hold shift on your keyboard and now click on this little diamond and drag. As you can see, the text is easier to control and see exactly what the offset looks like. At this point, this is ready for you to save out and you can go ahead and cut this text on your Cricut. So let's go to File, Save As, you can do Thankful and hit save. Now let's go back to Cricut Design Space. This is the old one that we had. I'm going to go ahead and upload. Upload image and we're going to find, find what we just saved. Thankful SVG. Drag it in and hit save. Select it and do insert image. Came in really small, but we can make it much bigger. As you can see, the one we did in Inkscape is much more thicker and I'm going to work much better for our purpose to create kick topper or the place setting. Uh, text as we want it to do and so it won't be less fragile. So at this point is all you have to do is hit make it and you can cut it out. And once you're done post it in Marcus Makers Club so we can all take a look.